Hey, welcome back inside the shed. It's time to get to know the new H.E. Williams two inch downlights. Okay, so what I'm holding here is the two light is the two inch remodeler version here. This remodeler has got these, the wings, right? So they're gonna be screwed in from below. So if I pop this trim, you'll actually be able to see in there, make sure you can see it, the two screws. So right in here, these shiny screws right here, those are the worm drives that will force these wings, these tabs, down and hold it to the ceiling in a retrofit application. So this is gonna get, these gonna closed. Take your hole saw, you bore a hole up into the ceiling. This slides up and then you use your screw gun to drill this down and these wings will slide down and push down onto the ceiling to hold the light in place. You've already put your driver up in the ceiling and you're making your connection with this little low voltage whip here, okay? So I could go through all the driver options, ELV, MLV, zero to 10, Lutron, pretty much any common driver is available on the cut sheet and Williams can source others if, if there's something specific you're looking for. So this is the two inch remodeler downlight, okay? So there's your chipset, sit right in here. So what got me really excited about the two inch line was that not only did they introduce that 2700K and a narrow beam, they did it in an adjustable. So the adjustable is available in all the way down to an eight degree, uh, very narrow beam, right? Now, just to be clear, the very narrow beam is a separate chipset. So you can't swap out optics. If you go with a narrow beam, it's gotta be, that's it. That's the very narrow, that's the eight degree. You'll see that on the cut. 15 degree and up, the optics are interchangeable, so you can actually swap out and get different performances. What I'm holding here is the 15 degree narrow spot, okay? A couple things you're gonna notice that I like. Let me turn this so you can see it. In here are the hash marks for your adjustment. So if you're doing a linear, like a wash, right, with four or five fixtures, you can hot aim the first one, get it where you like it, and then you can pull these out and have your electrician go ahead and do their marked adjustment based on the degree. Spun around for you. There it is. Let me show you like that. There it is. There is a Allen screw, right? So this is just a standard Allen key. And when I rotate that Allen key, I'll bring this around. Hopefully you can see it. There it is. As I turn this, you'll see that the worm drive is starting to activate and it's changing. I promise. It's changing the tilt on the downlight. Cool. All right, so H.E. Williams handles optics a little differently than other companies, right? So you're going to see on their cut sheet the reflector and then the lensing, right? Because you can have lenses like this guy. So this is a reflector that has its lens regressed up at the top of the cone right here. You can also have flush lenses that land here or no lens at all. That combination is what's gonna give you your optics, right? So if you go to the second page of the cut sheet, you'll see your reflector combination plus your lens combination get you your actual beam optic. All the key metrics are there. So it can go 80 CRI, 90 CRI, 500 delivered lumens, all the way up to 1500 delivered lumens in a very compact package. And really for our projects, I think the other thing is that it's very, very cost effective. So if you're looking to integrate two inch downlights, a really nice small aperture, relatively low glare, at a competitive price with adjustable a downlight and a wall washer in retrofit and new construction applications, I wouldn't look much further. It's a great, great offering from H.E. Williams and you should consider it. I have these samples for you guys. I can ship them out to you directly so you can take a review of them. 2700K and 3500. If you need something else or something more specific, let me know. I'll have it ordered right from the factory. So I've got a slight tilt on this guy. Uh, my degree mark tells me it's about 15 degrees tilted. I'm gonna light it up on the white wall and see how it looks. Okay, so what I like is that the tilt is really clean and the beam is really clean coming out of the optic. Um, there is some clipping up above the trim, so you're gonna to wanna to be aware of that depending on your beam spread and what you're specifying. Outside of the obvious, you'll also notice that on the trims for these, there's a cut cone. The maximum marked tilt on these is 45 degrees. You and I both know that if you're specifying a 45 degree tilt, there's gonna be some clipping at the top and the bottom of that image. I don't know of a downlight manufacturer that doesn't have that. The 
main way that Williams compensates for that is by cutting back this cone a little bit, which means you will be able to see up into the aperture from directly below. Rarely is that, you know, a big problem, but just something to be aware of. It's not a closed housing unless you specify an IC housing. It's just an open tray. So just something to be I wanted to give you a quick comparison of the two samples I have. So this is the 2700K down here. You're going to have to forgive the warmth that is not really reflected in the camera because the, the, the camera is going to adjust for that a little bit, but you will see the contrast as soon as I pan up. So this is the 3500K in a, a narrow flood. And then down here is an open reflector, a regress lens, uh, softening a wide beam. So you'll see that little poke of light in the center there that's giving it that little bit of beam from the regress lens. And then up here is that nice, clean, narrow spot from the 3500K. And you can really see there's not a lot of contrast between uh, beam and field on the spot, which I really like. Uh, and the 2700K is nice and mushy. You do get a little bit of center beam on there, but it feathers out pretty nicely. All right, guys, thanks for coming back in the shed. Uh, thanks for playing around with some Williams downlights. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.